What's going on guys, Fox said in today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you and going over how to install .apk.obb files in the Quest. It's very easy and straight to the point as long as you follow the guide. Make sure you follow it to the T because if you don't follow it to the T this is not going to work and you're going to be wind out, you're going to be wind up pulling your hair out. First things first, go in my description and download my pack. This is the installer. So you want to open up the installer and you want to go ahead and install it. After you install it, it's going to put a shortcut on the desktop. Now, first things first, what I want you to do is go ahead and plug your uh, headset into the PC. Okay, now that you plugged your headset into the PC, open up the application and I'll go over it with you to make sure that you're not having a problem. As you can see in the top left hand corner, it's connecting. As you can see, it says the name right there and it says the battery percentages. That means you're connected. Okay, so now first things first, I'm going to show you how to get the APK and the .oob connected and working together. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to look for the category up here. It says install APK file from folder on computer. So go ahead and click on that. For the demonstration purposes, I'm going to be installing, in, uh, installing zero cal. So you want to open up the folder and you want to open up your APK file and you want to press open. And as you can see down here in purple, it says installing APK and see how it, see it says all tasks complete. Just make sure it says all tasks are complete at the very bottom of the browser, this interface, and that means it installed. Now, very important, before we install the .o, before we install the .obb files, we need to launch the application one time. It doesn't matter if the application crashes or the application loads and you need to close out of it. If you do not install the application, if you do not open up the application at least one time in the VR headset, you'll it won't make that temporary folder where we need to put the .oob files so then it can recognize the .apk. If you don't do that, basically, if you don't open up the .apk first, then put on your files, it, it won't make that path for the folder to put your files into. So I'll meet you on the headset, and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, what you want to do is you want to open up the application drawer, library, whatever it's called. Open that up. Then what I want you to do is I want you to go to the unknown sources, which is the question mark folder. And what I want you to do is I want you to open up a zero caliber game. Open that up. Just go ahead and close it. It's not going to load up. It's going to cause a problem. So just go ahead and press quit. Then press close on this. Now that you opened it up for the first time, it is now, it made its temporary folder. So we're all set, ready to go. I wouldn't. So what we're going to do is I'll meet you back on the PC. Next, I want you to click on Manage Files. This is going to give us a file explorer. So click on Manage Files on Headset. So click on this. Now I'm going to show you something important, what to do next. Just giving you a heads up ahead of time. Sometimes this gets tricky and fine and fine. I'm sorry. Sometimes this gets tricky to try to determine the path of where to put the files. Now this this is the example that we're using of this title, right? And do you can do you see the APK says com xrealgames dot z c fifteen uh, APK. We're looking for a folder with a similar name to it. It might not be the same exact name depending on the title that you're doing. Sometimes it gets a little tricky and it gets a little confusing because you're not really sure where the files have to go. So now I'm going to show you what, what you have to do now. So we want to go back into our application here and what you want to click on, just in case you forget, is you want to click on manage files on headset. So just go ahead and click on that. So I already clicked on that before. And it will bring you up to this uh, file manager. So after you open that up, you want to click on Android. Then you want to click on OBB. These are where your OBB files live. And we're looking for that name. I know it's all the way at the bottom. 
but you, you're gonna have to take your time. I've been doing a lot of testing with different applications and different stuff. So do you see the folder here where it says com.x realgames.z z 15? This is the directory where the game lives. Like I said, um, I'm gonna explain to you again just in case you don't understand. Do you see this really weird name, how it's not even the name of the title? This is your install directory. This is where the paths of the .obb files live, okay? Just giving you the heads up on there. Now, going back to this root directory, I did this in a previous demo before going live with this. And this is where the files live, and this is how it works. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add the files to this. And then you, you want to click on the Add File button. Sometimes you can drag and drop them too. I don't recommend dragging and dropping them, especially if like if they're over three gigabytes, it's gonna cause a problem with the crash. It's gonna just crash the application. It's not gonna do anything. So you just wanna, I'll show you what to click on next. So what you wanna do is click on this red plus button down here. Do you see it says upload file to this folder? It's gonna up upload to just that directory. So that's exactly what you want it to do. So what you wanna do is you wanna open this up once. Then from here, where your OBB files live, you can actually just select all of them and press open and it's gonna take a while, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna show you, uh, I don't wanna lose my save progress. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna show you how to just put a file in here just as an example. So I would just click on that and press open and you can see the bottom here, it says file uploading task complete. And I, they, we're just gonna pretend that's a .obb file and that's gonna live over there. And it's all set ready to go. If you accidentally make a mistake like, oh no, this is not supposed to be in this directory, it's not gonna cause a problem. Because the, the .apk is looking for the .obb files. Your .apk is your installer, your .obb files are the raw resources to get the application to work. They communicate, the .apk file communicates with the .obb, um, and they, so the .apk is able to play the .obb files explaining it simple. So if you accidentally put something in here that you didn't want to put in here, just go to your X button here and it's going to say warning, this can't be undone, it's going to permanently delete it. Just press delete. Now I'm going to meet you back on the headset, we're going to see if this game works. Okay? Okay, so you want to open up your library, open up your library, then you want to go to the unknown sources tabs. You want to go all the way to wherever your file is located. You're going to press it. And now it should load without any issues. These bigger games sometimes take a very, very long time to load the very first time because it has to basically read the .obb files and get the uh, files all set up and working with the structure. I'm, like I said, I'm recording this in real time, so I'm going to cut some of this out to make it shorter so the video doesn't go on too long, and we'll jump into it. Well, that's it for this video tutorial guide. I hope this helped you out install the .apks.obb files. Like and subscribe to Foxden. I'll be having a lot more uh, videos coming out covering the quest to help you guys out. Anyway, until next time, have an awesome day.